Hey everybody! I am here today to show you how to hang multiple pictures on a wall. This is a simple tutorial for what I like to call a gallery wall. It's when you have more than one picture, when you have multiple pictures on the wall. Now first and foremost you have to figure out, you have to do a dry layout which is what I like to call it. You have to figure out how you want the pictures to be. So on the floor, I've laid out the pictures. There are three pictures. I've laid them out. I figured out that I, well, my wife figured out. It's not up to me, let's face it, okay? She told me exactly what she wanted me to do, okay? My wife figured out that she wants two inches between each picture. So I have three pictures of this size for our son's room, okay? Uh, you're gonna, they're gonna be different transportation vehicles. What I did is I laid them out and I figured out how, you know, what the total width would be with two inches between them, okay? And I sort of took that and I put it on the wall. So I'm gonna explain to you what I did. On the wall over here, I have markings, vertical markings for where each picture will start and end. And there's two inches between each vertical marking. Then what I did is I took my level and I figured out, well, once again, my wife figured out, not me, my wife figured out how tall she wanted them to sit off of the ground. I put my level on there and I made a very light line slightly above where the pictures will be. This way the pictures will cover that line, less to erase on the wall, okay? So I have all of these markings on the wall. You wanna get all of your markings on the wall first. It takes a long time to prepare, but it'll save you tons of time and tons of errors when you're doing it. Now, in my case, I'm gonna be using these uh, picture hanging strips right over here to hang them up. I have a package right here that I can show you. I'm just using these, I like to use these. Um, I like to go overboard, I like to put four, even though these pictures are light, I like to put four on each of them because they are over the crib, so I like to just really overdo it in terms of keeping them on the wall. So I've already placed the, the picture hanging strips on two of the three pictures, um, and I'll show you how to put them when I get put them on when I get to the third picture. So I've done all the preparation, I have all the markings on the wall, I know that the pictures will be level, as long as I follow that line right there, okay? What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna place the first picture. You wanna be sure of where you're gonna place it. So I know the first picture, because I have my markings on the wall, it's hard to see. Um, the side of the picture is gonna go right here, and then the bottom is gonna go along this line, making sure it's level, and the picture will end up right here. That's where it's gonna end. And then we have our two inch gap, okay? So with these strips, I've already placed some onto the picture. Now I'm gonna peel off the backing like that, just throw it on the ground. I'm cleaning, I'm gonna clean it up so my wife doesn't make the decision uh, to be angry with me. So I'm gonna make sure to clean them up later. Um, and this is my son's room, I wanna keep it nice and clean. Um, show him what it means to keep a nice clean room, even though I know he's not gonna keep his room clean when he gets older. Let's face it. So anyways, I peeled off the backings Make sure your picture's the right way before you put it anywhere. Now, when you place this on the wall, if you're using these hanging strips, um, you know, it's gonna stick in place. So you really wanna make sure it's in place. So what I like to do is hold it away from the wall, get it in place, get it nice and level. I'm looking at that line. Make sure I'm going right above that line. And once you're good to go, you just place it in place like that, okay? Now I'm gonna press against this and you do have to hold it there for a little bit of time. What I'm gonna do though first is I'm gonna take my level, just, just make sure, because you know, like I said, I don't want to, my wife to make the decision to be angry with me. Perfectly level. If you're in husband territory right now, if your husband watches this, okay, whoop, whoop, she might not appreciate that. Thankfully she's not home, she took the kids for a walk. But uh, just double check that it's level if you're worried about your spouse and what they're gonna think of your work. All right, I'm just joking, you know, my wife is awesome. She, I, this could be on a 45 and she wouldn't care at all. So that one's good to go. You can hold it for a little bit longer. I'm gonna, after the video, I'm gonna go and press on all of them again. That one's good to go. I gotta say, I'm not trying to brag here, but it looks fantastic. Next up, we have, what do we have here? We got the fire truck, okay. So the fire truck, I know, there's gonna be a two inch gap right here, okay? So there's two inches that I drew right there. I'm gonna place the fire truck after that two inch gap. I, now, like I said, I'm, it's easy and quick because I've done the preparation work, okay? So I'm gonna peel off these picture hanging strips, the backings of them, right there. And once again, for the last picture, I'm gonna show you how to put them on. 
Um, I always, once I started using these, man, they're awesome. They save so much time and they come off nice and easily. You don't have to patch anything up. They're, they're absolutely amazing to be honest with you. Um, I love them. They're a little bit more pricey than just using the, you know, the, the standard like hook and nail type of thing. Uh, I'm thinking of hook and ladder because of a fire truck, the hook and ladder truck. I read my son fire truck books all the time, but uh, they're, they're a little bit more pricey than the hook and the nail, the standard, but uh, they're worth it. Okay, I've peeled them off, we're good to go. Hold the picture away from the wall. I'm gonna make, oh, 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 we stuck to the wall right there. That was close, close call. I'm gonna line it up on the line right there, just like that. We're really making sure that we're doing this properly. Take your time. Ooh, I'm like shaking, I don't want to mess it up. Woo! Okay, once you're good to go, place it on the wall. I mean, like, you know, realistically, the human eye is not capable of spotting like a quarter inch difference. It's not, it's not. Unless you're my wife, okay? Her eye can spot the quarter inch difference, I'm telling you right now. So make sure you're doing it properly. The good thing also about these, uh, these, these hanging, these picture hanging strips is the fact that if you do need to make small adjustments, you can always do it. Don't do it right after. I mean, you want to let the, the adhesive set in for a while. So right now, that's good to go. I think we're good. Let's place the level on there just to be sure. Let's see. I say that's perfect. But what else is new? I'm just, I really don't brag this much usually. Okay, last one is going to go over here. Now, for this one, what do we have here? We have the digger. We have the, the construction vehicle. Now for this one, I actually have a fresh packet right here that I'm gonna show you how I like to do it. I, I'm not saying this is the official way to make it work, but this is how I like to do it. So I'm gonna get four pairs, okay? Each one that I'm hanging there is a pair, okay? We have four pairs. They come like this. I like to sort of attach them with the Velcro like that. So I attach the four pairs with the Velcro right over here like that, okay? Once again, I'm folding them over so that the Velcro pieces are touching and you can hear that clicking uh, sound from the Velcro, very satisfying. Now what I'm gonna do with each of these is I'm gonna put them on the four corners. I'm just making sure I put them the right way. I don't want them to be upside down. I almost had a freak out right there. Um, I'm gonna place them on the four corners. Now what I do is I peel off one side, only one side at first, okay? Then, make sure you're doing it the right way. Take your picture hanging strip, place it like that. Now I like to place it with this facing down. Um, that's just how I've been sort of trained to do it over the years of using these. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing once again. Take this one right here. Try to get this all on camera. Take this one right here, peel it off like that. Place it in the right orientation, like that. And you should be holding these down for about a minute, but like I said, I'm gonna be placing pressure on the pictures after the video. I don't want you guys to have to sit there and watch me. Um, the video's already long enough. I mean, I don't want you to have to sit there and watch me hold these down for a minute. So the key factor that you should be taking away here is that you wanna lay out all of the pictures on the ground first, the spacing and everything. Measure the entire width of your wall, figure out if you want them to be centered on the wall. So these pictures are actually centered on this wall. Uh, because my son's bed will be centered on the wall as well as crib is going to be centered and then his bed is going to be centered. Um, so figure out where you want everything to go. Make your markings on the wall, okay? And then it's much easier to get it done. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to peel off all four of the backings and that's the part that's going to stick to the wall. So we're peeling off all four backings. That's just going to stick to the wall. You know what? Let's take a little break right now for five seconds, smash the like button, okay? If you like what I'm doing here in the video, if you like the fact that I'm a parent doing this for his son, okay, I'm really trying to, I'm really trying to reach for the likes here. Smash the like button, okay? I feel like this video deserves a like. I painted this whole wall. If that's gonna help you like the video, I painted the whole wall. It looks awesome, okay? Anyways, here's the picture. Smash the like button once again. Smash the like, okay? Here's the picture. We're good to go. Nothing's hanging off the side. I don't think that was a close call. You don't want to do that. We're good. It's not hanging off the side, but... You don't want it to hang off the side. Now we walk over here. Let's make sure it's all on camera. Yeah, we're good. So now I'm gonna take the picture. I'm looking at my markings. I have it on the side marking. So I know that there's two inches between. And then I am going to find that bottom level line right there. So once again, making sure that the picture is level on that line. 
I got my side marking right there. Doing a nice triple check, and we're good to go. This is the last one. I feel like this is very crucial. Um, like I said, I no one's going to notice a quarter inch of a difference. All right, I think we're good to go. Oh, it's a little high. It's a little high. It's a little high. I'm going to peel it off. We're going to peel it off. Luckily, I did it right away. It's a little too high for my liking. What I'm going to do, I'm getting nervous now. I'm getting nervous. We're going to place the level up here. These picture hanging strips are very strong, just so you know. We're going to use the level as also an additional guide over here. Okay, let's grab it from the bottom. There's another little trick. I'm just placing on the level like that. Okay, going to my side marking, so I know they're two inches apart. Right here, just like that. And we should be good to go right now. No running, oh my gosh. Pull it off, let's go. Okay, last time. Guys and gals, take your time. I'm trying to rush it because I didn't want this video to be super long. But here's the moral of the story, take your time. Relax, okay? It's gonna be okay. There we go. I feel like that is level. Let's see. And we're good. I feel like that's good. Let's look at it. Oh, beautiful sight to see. Beautiful sight to see. Might I say so myself. All right, so like I said, here you have your gallery wall. Let's put this on there, make sure. We're good. That's a touch. That's a touch high, but we're talking about quarter of an inch difference. I'm fine. I'm fine. No one's gonna notice that. We're good. Okay. There you have it. As you can see right there, your gallery wall. That's how to hang multiple pictures on the wall. It's actually a really easy process. The key factor is to measure and lay out everything on the floor. Okay. Once you've laid out everything on the floor, it becomes much easier to actually. Uh, put it on the wall. Once you've measured and made your markings on the wall, you're good. Then, if you did it like I did with a light pencil mark, you just go on and you can erase any of the markings that are left over, like between the pictures over here, the level line. But that's it. Make your life easy. Prepare and you'll be good to go. If you just try and throw these on the wall, it's going to look disastrous. Take your time, prepare it. I probably did about 15, 20 minutes of prep work before this part. You incorporate the time you know, of me speaking in the video plus the prep work, you're looking at about a half an hour project for something like this. Um, and I've done this before with multiple lines. Like I did this in our old living room with a massive grid of pictures that we took on our honeymoon. Um, and there was like, I think it was like a, like a three by five grid. It was huge. So you can you take your time, you can make it look amazing. And that's it, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.